Hi everybody, this is Jennifer Cronk and this is a really quick tutorial on how we can embed videos directly from our Google Drive. This is like super exciting because previously the only option we would have in Google Drives was purely just a YouTube video, which could be pretty restrictive. Now we can simply go to insert and just like we would before, go to video and now we have the option to navigate to our Google Drive. So when I select my Google Drive, I can pick any video I like select it and once the video is embedded on my slides I can do some of the other stuff that we'd always be able to do I can resize my video but I also have some really great options that I'd like to show you so many times we really don't want to show an entire video to our students so now we have the option to edit our video options so when I click on video options I can play the video find the point hey Julie it's where I want to start. Let's say I want to start this at about 30 seconds in. I can click there and I could say, you know what? I want to use the current time, 30 seconds, to start the video. And I really want to end this video at maybe two minutes. There's no reason for my students to be able to see the whole thing. They're, the most important thing for them is between 30 seconds and two minutes. So now when my students view this video, whether I'm showing it to them or maybe they're viewing this in a hyper document, they'll automatically have the start and end time played for them. Now, something else that I like, when I'm presenting to a group of people, a lot of times I like to start a video, then stop it and have a talking point and then continue watching it but that's kind of difficult to do when you have settings that are just very simple like this. So what I would like to do is just simply right click on this slide and duplicate it. And I actually picked up this nifty trick from Jesse Lumitsky, so big shout out to him. And now I have two copies of the same slide. And when I go here and I go to my video options, now I can decide, well, I knew this one ended at 201. Maybe I want this one to resume at two minutes and 30 seconds. And then I can have this one end right about there. So this way I'm able to have multiple slides showing different parts of the video. And what's more, something else for dramatic effect is just simply muting the audio of the video. So maybe I just want to talk about what we're watching on the screen. Maybe we're watching a video covering um, a particular war or a civil rights demonstration. And what's important is my narrative for my students over the video. Well, then I can just simply mute the audio. So I hope you found this useful. I look forward to working with you soon. Thanks so much and have a great day.